What is up crew, it's your boy KSM and on today's video we're going to be going over how to draw feet and shoes. I'll be talking to you guys about some of the basic forms and structures, we'll, over, uh, we'll also go over some anatomy and then I'll also talk about the different styles of shoes that you'll be able to draw, stuff like sneakers, dress shoes, boots and so forth. Now if it's your first time here, welcome into the KSM crew. My name is KSM and I'm a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, teaching everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective to all things character design and I also work full time in in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. So if you are interested in some free art education or want to hang out with my dog who is over there, make sure to leave a follow on Twitch and like and subscribe the video if you're watching from YouTube. But with that being said, let me go over here and let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. Now, today's um, tutorial portion of my stream is going to be a little bit shorter because I have a lot of other uh, things we're going to be covering later like the art roast and stuff But I wanted to go over a few references with you guys We'll be drawing feet from different angles here and then after that we'll be drawing some shoes as well So I'm hope hopefully we'll have some time here, but I want to um, I want to talk about some of the basic components of the feet So that way for those of you who want to just kind of draw kind of the simpler You know simpler strategy for drawing feet and stuff we will be able to easily do that without having to make it too complicated but also for those of you who do want a little bit more detail and want a little bit more information, I will also be giving you guys some info about that as well. So we'll talk about how the uh, the skeletal anatomy of the sheet or of the not the sheet of the feet uh, work. And um, to kind of help you guys get started, by the way, for those of you who are joining in here live on Twitch, every time that I'm out here streaming on Twitch, always give you guys some cheat sheets and worksheets that you guys can use so here is the worksheet that you guys can download if you want to follow along with me on today's exercise here is the worksheet that we did in the last boot camp stream where I covered how to draw different types of legs whether that be legs that are muscular legs that are fat legs that are skinny um, and then here is actually a feet cheat sheet that's just so hard to say feet cheat sheet that you guys can download as well. And this is going to cover the skeletal anatomy, some of the muscular forms of the feet, as well as some other general tips and tricks that I think would come in really handy. I made this one last year, but we're going to be teaching it again this year. So go ahead and grab all these guys. They are free to download, but they're only available while I'm live. All right. So if I'm not live, then uh, you, you can't thrive or whatever. I don't know if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, just just watch my live streams. I'll give you more free stuff. All right. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about feet and how the how can we kind of simplify the structure of the feet and make it kind of more understandable. Right. So let's go ahead here and start off with maybe the first uh, reference that we got here, which I think is going to be the, the feet and side view. I think this is kind of an easy one to start off with because we're not dealing with things like foreshortening and all of that stuff, right? We're just focused here on looking at the simplified structure of the feet. So let's go ahead and start off by maybe talking a little bit about the simple structure of the lower leg in general, because uh, I think the, the lower leg is going to be playing a big important part there. And the reason why is because the lower leg, uh, when we're talking about the anatomy of it, it's actually comprised of two bones, the tibia and the fibula. Uh, and those bones uh, hinge at the ankle there. So they actually create those ankle bones uh, that you see on either side of your foot. So they're kind of relevant, actually, when it comes to drawing feet. If you wanna, if you wanna make good, believable uh, feet drawings, you gotta make sure to include some of those ankles. This sounds, look, I know we're talking about feet today. Some people, some people get a little weirded out by feet. I get it. Okay. But if you want to be an artist, you can't just draw characters from the head all the way to the ankles. I mean, you could, you totally could, but I do think that learning how to draw feet guys is going to be the key to unlocking how to draw characters in perspective, how to draw characters in environments, right? Because if you think about it, how many of you guys in the chat have ever tried to draw a character before and you tried putting them in some environment? But for some reason, they look like they're floating, right? Yeah, they look like they're like not really in the environment that they're in. Put an F in the chat if you know what I'm talking about. You're like, hmm, I don't know why. It looks like my character it looks like I slapped a sticker on there. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? So all of it has to do with feet. All of it has to do with being able to lock in the positioning of the of the of the feet on the ground and then from there you know you can put shoes on right you could put socks on if you want to it's really up to you um 
Okay, but this is going to be kind of the, the simplified, this is like the simplest, simplest structure of drawing a feet uh, or drawing a foot. And the simplified structure for it really is going to be just having a flat bottom plane there, uh, right there. And that's going to be where we're going to be contacting uh, the foot right on the ground. So let me just kind of rotate that a little bit. And this is like numero zero. This is like, if you want to learn the basics of drawing the feet, this is probably the, the, the bare minimum right here. Now, how does this look like in other views? Well, this could look something like this. So it may be in top view. You might see a little bit like this, right? Where you have here the front portion. Um, uh, and remember you, when you're drawing these things out, you kind of want to imagine these things as 3d shapes and not as just 2D flat objects. So don't think of this as some like pentagon, right? Or not even a pentagon, it's a, what, what's this uh, What's this rectangular shape called? Trapezoid, rhomboid, whatever. Some, some four-sided shape. Don't think of it as that. Think of it as a three-dimensional shape. So here would be like a top plane right here, right? Here's a little top plane right here, boom, boom, boom. Um, if you were to draw this one out in uh, maybe like a little bit more of an, uh, uh, like a, isometric view it would look something like this right um and hey thank you for the for the sub or the continued sub uh kachan trapezoid yeah there you go a trapezoid so from like from like another angle it would look something like this right and again the reason why i want to show you guys the basic shapes is because if you can draw the basic shapes for your objects this is i would argue about 50 percent or if not even more of being able to draw anything right drawing the basic shapes if you can do this you can basically draw if you can draw this and then you can do this at any angle right rotate this at any angle that's pretty much it all the other details will come after um right and for those of you who are watching live and are wondering why i'm streaming earlier today it's actually not that i'm streaming earlier it's that it's daylight savings uh daylight savings just happened here in the u.s which means that everybody's clocks got turned turned forward one hour and so for me it's actually the regular time that i stream but for other people here in other parts of the world that maybe either don't do daylight savings or don't or haven't done it yet um the timing probably looks earlier for you but for me uh, this is actually still eight o'clock it's just a little earlier so it's kind of it's kind of weird i know i'm not a big fan of daylight savings and all the confusion that it always causes um i wish they just kind of did it once and, and kept it you know like after this, they shouldn't turn the turn the turn the time anymore, but they still do. They always do. Um, but okay. Um, hopefully, this kind of basic concept here um, has been helpful at least to kind of visualize some of the uh, some of the forms there of the leg. Right. I wanted to again kind of simplify this one out for you guys because I think if you can do this, you're you're already almost all the way there. Right. And there are also many, many different ways to uh, draw feet as well. Right. So this doesn't have to be um, this doesn't have to be the way that you structure it. There are so many op like different options. So you could, for example, um, you could draw like a hinge here. Right. And then you can kind of change this one out to be like a bit more of a rounder shape and make it like this if that's what you want to do. So, again, many different ways to structure it. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, but now let's kind of go in here and let's start actually adding in a little bit, a little bit more detail to the structures that we have. So I'm gonna lower the lower the uh, opacity there. And so we're gonna actually push it up a little bit further and act, you know, add some more, add some more detail to this one. Um, I heard it's good to go through. So November is the last daylight savings. Really? I hope so. Um, that would be super sick, actually. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that. Um, for those of you who are subscribing or have just subscribed, I released a new emote for you guys, by the way. Highly requested emote from my subathon. <sighs> Kasem Cap. I can't believe we're, we, I, I even did this. We got Kasem Cap is here, guys. There it is. Use it. You, I don't know. I don't know when you would even use it, man use it whenever someone's capping i don't know it's just it just exists okay i'm sure i'm sure you guys will find some clever cl clever usage um for that email but all right 
let's go in here and let's talk a bit now about some of the structure of the the leg now i'm, I'm not going to go over too much here the upper leg but i will i will go over it a little bit um so firstly here i want to go talk about some of the anatomy of the lower leg and how those things actually relate to the um to the feet that we have right here now one of the first ones i want to call out is there's going to be basically a a section of extensor muscles here um that kind of group up and chunk across the the foot here and they kind of wrap around interestingly enough they wrap around this ankle bone uh, that we have here, right? So they do all this wrapping, but we're not going to actually focus on those things because I think a lot of those things, to be honest, are overly, overly detailed and you will almost rarely see those muscles. Um, but again, if you guys want to learn more about them, I would highly recommend grabbing the, 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 the cheat sheets that I have on my discord channel. Um, but basically these extensor muscles, their job is to kind of move those toes and move the foot and stuff. But you can imagine there's a huge chunk of these muscles that go across here and they wrap around both sides. All right. Both sides here of the, uh, of the ankle. And this is going to be the outer part here of the foot. There is also going to be a tibialis anterior muscle here. Now this one I actually do think is important because you will see this one pretty prominently, um, across, across the, um, across the foot there. And you can kind of see it right here on this model um, on, on their foot, right? Notice how there's a bit of a bump right here. Um, that bump right there is actually caused by the muscle on the outer side of the leg wrapping towards the inner side of the leg. Kind of interesting. Kind of cool. Um, thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. Closed core and also Katha888. And let me see here. We got a lot of other follows earlier today. Dario. Uh, WBLFS. Uh, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. And if you guys are following today, I, I'm genuinely curious, how did you guys come across my stream today? Uh, what brought you here? Thank you for the follow to Scrap. <laughs> Scrap, no good. Is it from recommended? Am I on the front page? Was it from, I don't know, uh, a friend of a friend? Someone told you about me. You heard about me through YouTube. Always curious to hear and see how people came across my streams. Uh, you watched my Saturday stream and that was the first time watching your stream. Your story and art is so good. Oh, really? That's, oh, that's super awesome. Yeah. Shout out to the, yeah. How many of you are here from my Saturday stream? I was live for 24 hours and boy, oh boy, that was, I will, I will say confidently that was probably the wildest stream I'd, I'd ever done. After I finished that stream, I literally just sat in bed and I was like, yo, was that real? Was that a fever dream? Because I was bald. I was bald for a good amount of time. And there was like almost 10,000 people watching me be bald. I don't know. I, <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know what happened that day. But you know what? We have, it's on the internet now. It exists. And we can't, we can't un, we can't unforget it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, no, that was wild. You had no clue that's mentally draining. Oh, you didn't, you didn't know that I was up for that long. Yeah. I was up for a bit of time. Um, the family feud segment. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed some of those segments. Uh, what's Saturday stream? Yeah. I don't even know what Saturday stream. <laughs> I think it was, it was all a dream. I got to do it again. I guess apparently, you know what I'm saying? If it, if it didn't happen, I think we just got to do it again. Oh boy. Uh, but anyways, going back here on the leg. So if there are three things I want you guys to pay attention to, okay, it's going to be these, uh, three sections. So there's going to be section one here for the, uh, this, this is just, this is just for the, um, for the, for the lower leg here. All right. So you have here the calves. So let me, let me do this in red. So that way you guys can see the differences in color here. So you got here the calf muscles. Calves. Okay also known as, uh, for those of you who want really the anatomy and stuff, this is the gas struck, I need to write this in gas, ga gas struck, gas truck, nemius, um, and soleus plus the soleus muscles. Okay. Um, and then this right here, extensors, there's actually a bunch of them on here. Don't worry about them. There's so many of them. Um, and then right here, more importantly, is the tibi tibialis anterior. Okay. 
tibialis, meaning uh, it's a muscle that originates around the tibia, the tibia bone, um, anterior um, out here, meaning it's on the front side. Um, so anterior is front side, posterior, like that, like that posterior, that, that boute is going to be meaning backside. So you'll actually find that out also on the deltoid. So for the deltoids, there are three uh, chunks of the deltoid muscle, the anterior, posterior, and the lateral. Um, yeah. So anyways, tibialis, uh, anterior, right? So all of these muscles, so the, the calves here, again, are going to be comprising of the two. And yes, um, if you guys really, really want the um, all the juicy, juicy info, um, again, I would highly recommend to, to grab my cheat sheets on the Discord channel. But, you know, um, I would say for those of you who are just kind of getting a general idea of the anatomy, I would say focus on these two because these two are going to basically create the silhouette structure there of the upper or sorry, of the uh, of the lower legs. OK. Um, and yeah, for those of you wondering um, how I'm doing, I'm doing well. I, I after Saturday stream Sunday and Monday, I rested. I didn't do anything else. Just chilling. Oh, you didn't know that I was bald. Yeah, I was bald for a bit. Thank you, guys. I, I love the... Uh, I'm glad you guys like the shirt. I like this shirt a lot, too. It, it lets people know that I think Digimon was better than Pokemon as an anime. I, I love it. <laughs> it's very clear, you know. Uh, thank you for the follow suit. Ebony, Gabriel, uh, and everyone else coming in here. All right. Um... Anyways, now that we've drawn out here some of the simplified structure of um, the the lower leg, let's actually go in now and let's talk a little bit about the actual structure of the foot. Now, I should I hmm, should I talk about the skeletal anatomy of the feet? Well, we could, we could, we could. Okay, I'll give you guys some general. Here's here's what I'll do. I'll give you guys some of the general structure of the feet and then we'll talk about um kind of the the components here to pay attention to so personally i think when it comes to drawing uh when it comes to drawing feet right there's going to be here i would say maybe uh a couple major sections the first one i would argue is going to be probably that heel section right here okay then you have this mid section right here uh, and then you're going to have kind of the, that toes section over here on the front. Now I would say if you were to break up the feet, these are going to be the four sections. And you know what? I'm going to actually group the ankles with that. So now we have four, we have four. Um, and I'll talk about the actual skeletal anatomy because I think that'll, that'll help you at least get a visual of what's going on. Um, but again, I want to start off by kind of giving you guys, we're going to work our way up, right? So we're going to work our way up on building up from simple shapes, like what you're seeing here, and then actually adding in more and more and more and more and more and more details. Okay. Uh, but if you were to kind of imagine here, the simple shapes, this is basically going to be how those four components are going to look like now really quick guys um i do run ads on my stream every hour one's gonna be running right about now so if you do get an ad thank you again for sticking around for the ad break they help keep my streams monetarily viable and allow me to do uh what i'm doing out here on twitch so uh yeah if you don't want to see any ads though consider subscribing or using a prime sub but either way i hope to see you after the ad break and uh yeah hope you've been enjoying the stream so far okay so let's talk about it. All right. So this is going to be the basic structure. Okay. This is going to be the basic structure here. And let me kind of highlight this one out. I'm going to color it out a little bit. Um, how should I do this? Let's do it like this. Multiply. And we're going to do some nice. I'm just going to pick out some nice colors here. And then that way we can highlight these out. Uh, when will I be checking the magmas? Um, at the end of the stream, because uh, right now is my tutorial section, tutorial portion of my stream. Um, and then that way, that way we're not like jumping in and out, if you know what I mean. Um, I look more alive today. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how, I wonder if uh, getting sleep actually makes people better. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> You mean to tell me having a regular sleep uh, sleep schedule is is it helpful? Yes, I, I I feel a lot better after getting all that sleep. 
Um, hundred percent. Um, jump scare with the ad. I, I <laughs> how could you guys get? Ju- I I warned you guys. I said there was an ad coming. I I I literally said there's an ad that's gonna be playing. Hey, what what was going on? I did I not say that, guys? Did I not say there was an ad coming? Am I crazy? I said it. I warned it. All right. Um, let's go ahead here, and we're gonna do this one in green. Okay. All right, so again, these are, I would say these are going to be the four general sections of the foot. You could technically break it down to more if you want to. It's really, again, up to your discretion. This is what I'm going to go with uh, for today's stream. Um, you can you can really go as complex or as simple as you want to. Like you can, you can even make this into just two components. You can make it three components, right? Um, oh, the ad came out loud. Okay, yeah, that's true. I have no control over that. That, that is like... That just happens. What about the toes? Yeah, the the, the the toes are here. Don't worry. We're gonna the toes are gonna be in this section of green. Okay. Now again, it's gonna be there's gonna be some uh, flexibility and change there. So primarily here, what I'm most focused on. Um, like like technically you could. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna give you guys the detailed version first, and then we will do. Um, then we'll talk a little bit about okay here's what i'll do fine i was gonna try to make it simple for you guys but i feel like a lot of you guys might be like wait a minute Kasian, what about this and that so technically technically guys you can break up this section right here into its own section and the reason why i feel like you can do that is because that section right there is actually its own um set of bones that's going to be the i believe um the metatarsals okay so we'll talk about the skeletal anatomy in a bit okay fine so we could do this um and this will give us uh some of the understanding there of the foot all right cool 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 but yeah let me know so far if this is making sense right let me know in the chat if this is like not too crazy we haven't gone in we haven't gone too in depth yet um but yeah, let me know if I'm going too fast or if it's okay. And thank you for the follows, Chrono Man. And thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, my guy, appreciate that. And thank you for the follow to SS Generation and everybody else coming in here. Um, yeah, so for those of you, by the way, who are uh, who are here for the first time, uh, welcome in. My name is Kasem. I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch. And I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective to all things related to character design. And I also work full time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Right now, I'm actually prepping to work as a character designer on shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys are interested in some free art education, or you're just looking to hang out with my dog who is chilling over there, uh, make sure to leave a follow um, if you're watching from Twitch, and also like and subscribe the video if you are uh, watching from YouTube, all right? Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about me for those of you who are coming in. Um, welcome in guys. I know I know some of you are just stumbling in my stream for the first time out here. So appreciate that. So again, these are gonna be some of the 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 generalized sections here. Now I can give you guys the um the anatomical terms, but I think for today's stream, what's more important is giving you guys over the overall general idea. So this is gonna be like the ankle. Uh, the angle section here, uh, I'll, I'll just tell it to you verbally. So that way you, you guys can know it and utilize it. But again, it's not like super, I think it's for this one, it's less important, but basically the ankle section is off, again, going to be comprised of the tibia fibula, as well as the talus bone there of the, of the foot. Um, the, this section is going to be known as the heel, right? You guys know the heel of the foot, and this is comprised of something called the calconius, uh that's basically this chunk right here this purple chunk right there um this reddish chunk right here is gonna be known as the tarsals okay so the tarsals this one i'll write down because i don't know any other better term for this one other than it's called the tarsals um and then here on in blue you have here the metatarsals metatarsals um 
And then in green is the phalanges. And if you're wondering, Kasem, phalanges, that kind of sounds familiar. Wait a minute, I've heard of that before. Um, you are actually correct because the phalanges are similar to um, the finger, what the finger bones are called. So the, um, the hand actually follows a similar uh, skeletal structure as the feet do. Uh, but instead of tarsals and metatarsals, you have here carpals, metacarpals, and then phalanges. So c for the hands t for the t for the feet uh, but overall the the structure is the same there um and kind of the the functionality is also kind of similar okay but that's going to be the rough idea okay it's kind of the rough idea overall um orange orange area top of the pink orange area on top of the pink Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that is it is true that the that the the tarsals are also going to be part of the orange. Um, yes, but I think also the tarsals are going to be comprising up to this section. Let me double check my notes as well. I, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right info here. Um, yes. So, okay, yeah, so the, the, the metatarsals do go up a little bit more, but for the most part, this is kind of, uh, uh, this is kind of just a rough idea, okay? Um, again, mostly here, um, I think the phalanges are a little bit longer. So I, I would shift this one up a little bit more, so let me go ahead and just do that. So it would be, it would be more like this. But I think in terms of what the flexibility is and all that stuff, I would say it's going to be kind of like that but yeah overall i would say that this is going to be the rough idea right the rough idea for uh what we're going to be talking about for the actual structure um, of the foot when i'm when i'm kind of laying out these shapes for you guys these are mostly for, uh for kind of giving you guys the idea of um where things bend and stuff in terms of the foot but overall i would say this is kind of a rough kind of structure of how to start thinking about the overall components there of the feet. This one I actually kind of want to go back a bit. So let's do that. Okay, cool. All right, so hopefully, uh, no, you're good, you're good. Um, it's actually helpful um, for me as well to make sure that you know I'm giving you guys as concise info because I know some of you are here for the general stuff, but also some of you guys here are actually you know here for all the more juicy uh, info that I also cover out here. So it's it's valuable to make sure I'm 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 approaching it on both ends. Now again, this is going to be the rough general structure of the foot. I want to do a quick um, example of drawing the skeletal anatomy with you guys, and then I think from that skeletal anatomy we should be good to uh, we should be good to talk a little bit more about just the fat pads and stuff and then we'll draw the feet from different angles and then from there we'll start drawing some shoes okay so we're gonna we're gonna lay out some of the groundwork there for uh for the shoes and all of that stuff so let's go ahead and do some of that now juicy <laughs> yeah juicy all right so let me um how should we do this let me go ahead and duplicate this Oh, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to bring this over here. Okay. So that way you guys can kind of see the notes there. Uh, and then on this layer uh, is where we're going to actually uh, go in and talk a little bit more about the actual, maybe like skeletal structure and stuff. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow, NZ9. Appreciate that. I uh, appreciate the follows coming in here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and kind of um, fill this one out. Uh, we'll go like this. And I'm going to start drawing out here um, the actual, uh, a little bit more of the anatomy um, to kind of give you guys a bit of an idea of just how the skeletal anatomy works, okay? Um, so when it comes to drawing out here the overall skeletal anatomy, I would argue that um, knowing the skeletal anatomy can be beneficial for understanding how the actual foot and stuff works, but it's not super important um, in the sense that um, I do think that overall understanding just the general structure of things will give you a good baseline of where to start off with. But you could imagine if we were to draw out here 
all of the kind of components of uh all of the, the the foot and stuff this is kind of how that skeletal anatomy would kind of start structuring itself out um here so just a bunch of uh bunch of sections right here for the for the tarsal section here the heel again so i would say the, the most important part here is probably the heel right the ankle joint connection uh and then here you have these like metatarsals which are gonna uh kind of bulge out here a little more and then taper down a little bit more and kind of become bumpy here for the uh the structure there of the toes right and so the toes are going to be this kind of uh, final segment right here known as the phalange section and that's going to be comprised i believe of two sections let me think two joints let me double check this i have to check my own toes <laughs> i don't i think so yeah there's only two there's only two sections so it's gonna be like a, a bigger section like this and then a smaller section like this right um the perfect capture for emote material it's uh yeah no that emote is that emote is gold for sure so i think this is right though no 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 there should be two sorry there should be two i always have to double check i believe there are two joints big toe has two other toes have three just like your hand okay good yeah 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 okay yeah so just like the hand these should have like one two three uh, and then the other ones, uh, the, the big toe basically only has, uh, two sections there with one joint. Um, but the other ones do have kind of three. Okay. So we have that going on here. Um, and again, you can kind of imagine this is kind of the rough idea for the skeletal anatomy with the most important part here, um, overall being the, uh, being the structure that we talked about here. But I wanted to show you guys at least the idea of the skeletal anatomy so that way you guys can, you know, like be knowledgeable about it and be like, hey, you know, you go to a party, you tell somebody, hey, you want to learn something about feet? And if they haven't kicked you out of the party by then, you can start telling them all this info about tarsals and metatarsals and phalanges and stuff. All right. But I don't know. I don't think that honestly would be a good opener if you're trying to like, you know, trying to riz somebody up and be like, hey, I know a lot about feet. You might be like, hey, yo, okay, that's a little too much. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't use this for uh, for dating advice, but it is good for, I would say, anatomy, anatomy advice for drawing, right? Um, but all right, so on top of uh yeah, okay, yeah, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna start calling their friends. Oh, what's this? Oh, my friend's calling me right now. Uh, I gotta head off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have fun though. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to dip real fast all right so let me let me go ahead and uh, put away the the skeletal anatomy there because the other kind of component here i want to talk about um before we jump into actually just drawing out some feet and stuff is going to be the fat pads of the feet okay so the fat pads of the feet are kind of cool because you could imagine that uh since we're walking so much all the time um it's good to have a little bit of cushioning here for the feet so there's a couple major fat pads um that are part of the foot uh, this is going to be one of them kind of like right here. You can kind of see, you can kind of see it on the person there. Um, how there's, a um, when the feet are kind of stepped down on the ground, they're going to kind of squash and help cushion the contact there of the, um, of the foot. Uh, the other area that you're going to find it as well too, is you're going to see it on the toes, uh, right here, some fat pads there. Uh, and then also some fat pads, uh, I believe right here, kind of like in this section. Yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. Um, from, from, let me, let me color this one out, but basically from a top view, or if you were to look at kind of the, the, the bottom of the feet there, I'll show you kind of how that looks like. Oh, today's your birthday. Nice. Happy, um, happy birthday. Happy pie day. Yesterday was my birthday too. So I know the excitement, the feeling of, uh, <laughs> the feeling of having a birthday um um some guys want to sweep you off your feet <laughs> i'll teach you about your feet <laughs> yo these pickup lines are uh highly questionable highly questionable 
All right. Um, but what's also cool about this combination of um, so something I want to I want you guys to pay attention to is this combination here of the fat pads and also the skeletal anatomy is actually what helps create the arch here. It helps create some of the arch here of that foot on both sides of the feet. So not just the um, outer side, but also the inner side, um, because the fat pads are also going to create some arching here. But the skeletal anatomy has a natural arch to it, as you guys can see from the skeletal uh, components there. Right. So now when we actually get into. Uh, when we actually get into drawing out here, the, the foot itself, um, let's go ahead and I'll talk a little bit about how it looks like to draw uh to draw the feet from kind of like a top or from the from the bottom view and yes welcome in everybody glad to have you guys on here today i know that this is um this is not the usual drawing faces and stuff today but you know um i i hope this is okay i think it's helpful i think it's helpful and knowledgeable to know how to draw um to know how to draw everything all parts of the human body um and and the feet are a major component of that so you can imagine if we were to draw out the bottom here of the foot, if you were to look down at your feet and stuff like this, um, I would say this is going to be kind of how it roughly plays out. Um, you can imagine this is like the little chunks there of our toes. Okay. And let me just, let me just copy, copy paste this. Okay, so you can imagine if this was the uh, kind of that view there of the of the toes. Wait, where did I draw this? Oh, I drew it here. Damn, these are all over the place. <laughs> these are all like all in different layers and stuff. Uh, feet are ultra important. Yes, I think so. Um, let me see here. How are you recovering? I'm doing well. I'm actually doing really well. I had a lot of good sleep. Ate a lot of good food. Oh man, so much good food. And I just honestly took a rest day, which which I don't do often, to be honest. You guys know me. I work I work pretty hard. I work about 12 to 14 hours almost every day. So my birthday, I would argue, is one of the few times in the year that I actually give myself a break. Um, and I always think it's a well-needed break. But all right, let me highlight here the the fat pads. So again, there's going to be a fat pad on both sides here um, of the this upper portion here of the toes or this other feet. And then the heel also gets a fat pad as well. And again, these kind of uh, major components actually helps create some of that arching there of the foot. Um, the, each toe itself also gets a little bit of cushioning as well. So you can kind of see that's kind of how... Um, these toes get their kind of rounded shape there at the tips, right? Um, and so if you take all of this and if you color this on top, we're going to see here the um, the fat pad there. Feet are nice. Feet, feet, feet can be nice. 100%. Yes. Um, Abel Marlowe, thank you for the follow. Um, and do welcome in as well. Welcome in, guys. Again, I think feet are a necessary component of character design. Because also learning how to draw feet um, can also help you learn with uh, drawing shoes, which we're, which we are going to be talking about as well um, today. So, okay. Um, so we've got here now the fat pads, the skeletal anatomy. So let me go ahead and. That's this one here, right? Okay, so I'm going to go and duplicate this. Merge all of this together. And I'm going to put that right here. There you go. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so now that we've done here a few of the components, already we've got a lot of good notes here, I would say. Um, we've got here the fat pads. So I'm going to just write this down. This is fat pads. Um, fat pads. Okay. Um, let's actually start drawing um, some of these things out now. Yeah, I agree. All, <laughs> all good characters have feet. 
some in spirit. Yeah. I mean, not every character is going to have feet, but I would say most, most will. Um, all right. Let's do so many things going on here. Let me go ahead and now we're going to go in and actually start drawing out, um, drawing out this foot as, as I would see it. Right. So, um, when it comes to actually drawing out the feet, again, major components I'm looking at here is going to be the heel, but also paying attention to how the feet is interacting with the ground because here, um, because we're going to be seeing, for example, this foot on the outer portion and the, the feet are actually being pressed down because they're, uh, this person's like really bending down and squatting, not really on their toes or anything like that. Um, you're going to see not really that much of an arch here, but we'll actually talk about arches. Maybe we should talk about arches too. Okay, here's a here's a quick TLDR. Okay, the quick TLDR, and then when we draw some examples later, we'll talk more about the arches of the feet. Maybe on this one, um, but the, the the brief TLDR is basically there are two arches on the feet um, that are pretty well known. You have the inner arch of your foot, and that's going to be the larger arch. I believe that's called the medial uh, medial arch. So medial meaning inner, uh, and then the outer arch is going to be the transverse arch, right? No, sorry, the lateral arch, transverse is across. Um, so lateral arch and then medial arch. So right here, you're going to be seeing not really that much arch because of the um, how the foot is being placed. Uh, but we're going to go down here. Um, so we have here kind of the the ankle bone and all of that and what what it, um, and kind of the structures that it makes. And then here on the back side of the ankle bone is actually going to be the the connection here of the Achilles heel and that's created by the calf muscles that we have on the back side there that we talked about earlier. So those calf muscles are really going to go down in here, right? They're going to connect here to the to the back there of the heel and it helps create some of that nice shape, uh, a little bit of the taper there, the Achilles heel. Um, and this is going to be, again, the uh, the tendons there, right? The tendons there of the, of, uh, the, the quad muscles and that's going to go back there and create that Achilles heel. Now, as we kind of continue working our way down here, we're going to go in and start adding in some of the other components. Here, you're going to have also um, some of the components that are the muscles of the extensors going all the way down here and going across to each portion of the foot uh, of, the, of the toes. You don't have to worry too much about that. That's okay. So I'm going to skip past all that. Uh, and then I'm just going to kind of build out a little bit of an arch here, kind of a, a section here for the for the tarsals. And then from there, what I like to do is actually simplify how I draw toes. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just combine um, a couple things. The middle section of toes, I like to combine them together because I think they're all basically roughly the same uh, design. Uh, they are, they're all going to follow the same structure. The pinky toe I group by itself. And the reason why is because the pinky toe sometimes is, well, one, it's a lot smaller. Um, it's a lot smaller, and so because it's a lot smaller, um, it kind of shifts away in the back there. But also, it's a little bit more rounded than the other ones, too, and sometimes even tucks back there on the foot. So you can kind of imagine uh, doing something like this, right? Um, but yeah, that's what I would say is the general structure. If you can kind of break it down into these three components of pinky toe, uh, three middle toes, and then the, the big toe, that's going to be most of the work. Um, and hey, thank you, for the, uh, thank you for the sub, Divine Power. Appreciate that. You ever see super long toes, like finger toes? I'm not going to lie to you. I don't look at a lot of feet. I wish I could say yes or no, but I don't think I've seen enough feet to know exactly what you're talking about. But I mean, some of these toes, I would say, are long. Like, that's kind of long toes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, yes. Um, but okay. So when it comes to actually drawing out the structure here too, what's nice about, what's nice about drawing the feet is basically, or the, the toes is that they follow kind of a simple rhythm, right? So you have your, I would say a two, a two step structure of one, two, that's it. One, two, you see that one, two, and obviously you can change this up depending on how, how the toes are positioned, but that's what I would say is the overall structure here. Now on this one is going to go one, two, and then down a little bit more like this. But I would say that overall gesture is kind of what I normally do whenever I'm drawing, um, whenever I'm drawing toes. Now, in this case right here, you can maybe do an arch instead because the toes are maybe kind of curling in more to support the, uh, support the, the pose that this person's doing. But we're going to go one, two, 
three, and that's going to be uh, roughly what I'm going to be doing here for this one. Okay. Nice and easy uh, toes. There you go. And then last but not least, we're going to go in here and put the, the foot, the, the big toes, I would say it's, 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 it's uh, own shape there. And that's also going to be um, a stepping stone structure there like so. But there you go. Um, I would say that is going to be the general idea for when it comes to uh, drawing, uh, drawing toes, right? Drawing toes and drawing the feet overall. Again, capture the heel, capture the ankle, capture the toes, and I would say that's actually most of uh, most of the structure there of uh, drawing drawing feet. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. And then you can, you know, you can always change it up, add more details or less details if you want. Um, I would say maybe just look at some references, but I think overall, this is kind of how I, how I normally draw feet. And the, and, and the thing too is, uh, sometimes if not, if not most times, you're not even going to be really seeing the toes, right? You're going to be mostly seeing uh, characters wearing shoes and stuff. So if there's anything here that's probably more important, I would say this right here is the more important thing to pay attention to when it comes to uh, when it comes to drawing the feet of the characters, because this is kind of the baseline that you'll also be using when it comes to drawing different types of shoes, right? But again, the it's good to know what the underlying structure is, because I think if you don't know it, then we, we kind of start guessing and doing weird things uh, with the anatomy, right? Like how many times have you guys, you know, drawn a character before and you've, you know, you've given them a, a, gi a gigantic hoodie or you gave them sweatpants because you didn't really know, you didn't really know what the anatomy was about. You were like, uh, anatomy, forget about anatomy, man. Let me just put some big clothes on them, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Put an F in the chat if you've ever done that before, guys. Uh, but yes, also for those of you who are coming in here, uh, the stream is only early because of daylight saving. So if you're not in the US and you're in a different part of the, the, the world and stuff, then yeah, my streams are a little bit early um, because we turned our clocks back one or, or whatever, whatever have you. I always forget what the, what the back one or forward one or something, something like that. But cool, this is, I would say, the general structure of the feet. Now that we've done that, I'm going to knock out two more examples with you guys a lot faster now, now that we've done the basic bare bones. And then we'll actually go over drawing some shoes. So we're going to put those, uh, we're going to put these, these carpet crunchers away. All right, these, uh, these ground pounders, they're going to get, they're going to get covered up by some socks and some shoes. So don't worry. All right, let's go ahead here now and work on this angle here. I think, I think this is going to be a good angle to also work from because it'll show you a little bit more about the actual, um, some of the interesting asymmetries here of drawing, uh, drawing feet. You've gone over the bare bones. Literally. I know this is, this is actually the bare bones. Indeed it is. But all right, let me know. Um, bef before I do move, uh, before I do move on, um, how was that section there that I covered? Was that helpful? Did you guys learn something new? Was it easy to understand? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know if that was helpful to you guys. Because again, I'm trying to, I think, I think I'm always trying to make it so that it's available to, to beginner artists, but also understandable and also helpful for the more advanced artists uh, as well too. You get what I'm saying? You know, like I want to, I want to make it, so that everybody can like get a little understanding out here. Um, and thank you for all the followers by sour and Katra, uh, Katra adorable. Appreciate the, the, the follows out here, guys. Um, welcome in, welcome into the case and crew. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream, uh, so far. Now I'm going to go in here first and I'm gonna show you guys again, how I build up these drawings from the basic structures that we've talked about today. Um, and then from these basic structures, we're going to go in and actually, you know, start talking a bit about 
how I start visualizing these forms a little bit more in, in more detail. Um, has the roast begun yet? No. So the, um, the roast has not happened yet. We'll be doing that at the end of my stream. So if you guys want to join in on the roast, um, make sure you're posting on the discord channel. All right. Post on their art critiques section. That is where the, that's going to be the section that we're going to have there. Um, that will actually cover, um, we'll be, we'll be, I'll be looking over some of the submissions there. I'm probably not going to roast everything. Cause obviously there's, there might be a good, a good amount of you guys who are going to submit. Um, so I'll probably pick out somewhere between, uh, maybe three to five for today. I'll see, I'll see, um, I'll see how many submissions there are going to be, but if there's a lot, a lot of submissions, I'll pick out maybe five. If there's not too much, I'll probably pick out like three. All right. I am roasting today. Yeah. Cause we were supposed to do an art roast during my 24 hour stream. But if you guys were there, you remember it kind of got a little crazy. Okay. Kind of got a little wild uh, that day, but all right. So this is going to be some of the, the basic structure right now, as we go all, um, over here now, one of the cool things that I want to talk about with you guys is some of the asymmetry of drawing feet and how you can use this to actually get some good understanding of what's going on. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the ankles and notice here how the ankles are actually angled a little bit here such that the outer ankle pay attention is this is actually kind of important for gesture and stuff, but the outer ankle bone is actually lower here, right? Lower than the inner one. So what's going on there? Basically this bone right here, this ankle bone structure is from the fibula and the outer one right here is from the tibia. And so these are very subtle things, but these are the things that you can use if you really want to get some good gesture for drawing feet and finding those good rhythms of asymmetry that we've talked about all the way down from the legs. So notice how this asymmetry always happens, right? From the legs, from the upper thigh to the inner portion there, the sartorius, wrapping that back out to the outer, outer knee right there, curving it back down for the calves. These gestural rhythms actually happen all over, all over the whole body but you will definitely be seeing them also in the legs. So kind of a cool, you know, kind of a cool thing to know, right? I don't know. I, I think, I think it's cool. But again, I'm, I, I love, I love anatomy. I love, I love learning about all these things. So I think it's kind of cool, but if you don't think it's cool, that's okay. That's okay. As long as you know, it ha as long as you know, it exists, right? It's kind of the, the main thing there. Um, and thank you for all the follows today. Marha Labs, Night Unknown, uh, and Normo, uh, Normo Heckle. Appreciate all the follows today, guys. Uh, I know we've been getting a lot of follows today, but if you guys are new, I'd love to know how you guys came across my stream today. Uh, did you find me on recommended? Did you find me on, uh, front page? Was there, was it from the raid earlier that, that I got? Or mm, let me think what else it could possibly be. Um, could it be from my YouTube channel? I always forget. It. Yeah, could it be from my YouTube channel? Possibly. All right. Um, but anyways, going back here, let's kind of lock out here the um, the structure now, and we're going to be going in here, drawing out the toes and then the heel in the back. So uh, something to pay attention to is one, the heel is going to be kind of going back here. So I'm taking that basic structure that we had now kind of building that back in here. And then also pay attention to the fact that there's going to be an arch, right? There's, there's going to be an arch here on the feet. So we're going to make sure to include some of that arch there in the rhythm. Uh, and then also let's kind of lock that back in. So ways to denote this arch is by adding in just a subtle overlap, right? So don't actually, you don't actually have to go all the way in here and create a, create a hook like this. You can actually just kind of go in, add a little bit of a soft gesture, right? Let, let them know that there's a little bit of foreground going on here. Uh, you found me randomly months ago when I, when I couldn't sleep. <laughs> well, welcome in. Glad to have you on here. I'm, I'm glad you were like, you know what? I can't sleep. You know, what's going to help me sleep some very dense educational content. Nothing like, uh, nothing like learning, learning to, to help put me to sleep. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in here. Uh, and a lot of recommendeds out here. That's super dope. Thank you for the, for the resub too, Myra. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, thank you for the follow too. Some normal viewer. Welcome in. Welcome in. Nothing but top notch entertainment. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, you're going for the ASMR? 
Me? No, no, no. I don't do ASMR. Um, I could try. Hey guys, ASMR. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't really watch a lot of ASMR, so I don't know what they do. <laughs> I just, I just know they like do a lot of whispering and they do a lot of uh, crunching and stuff, right? Am I getting it right? Have I got the idea right? Something like that. Something, something, crunching, whispering, and, and, um, yeah. You're better off not knowing. Yeah. Some, you know, some things it's okay. It's okay to not know. You know, it was funny. I had a, <laughs> I'm going to call out one of my friends here. Uh, um, so I was, I was grabbing dinner with some of my, some of my, my childhood buddies for my birthday. And one of them was asking me, um, thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, one of them was asking me a lot of questions about Twitch. He was like, Hey, um, I heard there's this thing called hot tub streams. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. They, they have those. And they're like, yeah. And like people like, you know, people like cheer stuff and they, and they like watch someone go in and stuff. You ever seen that? I'm like, no, nah, I've never seen that. And then they were like, just kept telling me more and more about hot tub streams. And I was like, have you seen a hot tub stream? Cause you know, well, you sure know a lot about it. He's like, no, I've, I've never seen any. I've never seen, I've just, I've just read about them. And I'm like, are you sure? Cause the way you're describing it sounds a little bit more than a, than a, than a reading. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was really going on about the hot tubs. He's like, I've never actually seen them. I'm like, bro, it's okay. It's okay. You can tell me if you've seen them, you know, <laughs> he was, he was very adamant about saying he doesn't watch them, but he was also giving me a lot of details. I was like, no, I, I, I wish I could confirm or deny what you're saying. He got busted. Yeah. I was like, bro, it's okay. It's okay. That category exists for, for, for people. You can be one of them. Um, let's see. If I were due to the time, it'd be tougher for me to be in time for streams. Um, wait, wait, where, where are you in the world? Mr. Manfredi, because you might also have daylight savings too. Cause I know that there are people in, um, there are people, for example, in Europe who haven't done the whole daylight savings thing yet. Right. Cause I know people in the UK, you guys, uh, you guys do your whole daylight savings thing next week. Right. So there might, it might just be that it's not shifted yet for some of you. I know daylight savings and all this weird stuff, man, uh, case and be like, yeah, are you sure? I know that's honestly, he's asking a lot about it. Oh, he, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's, here's, here's the other thing that he said. He said, he asked me, he's like, you ever subscribed? You ever subscribe to anybody on Twitch? And I was like, oh yeah, all the time. I subscribe to people all the time. He was like, but like, I heard there are some, like some, some like hot tub streamers. They got like subscriptions for things. And I was like, no, nah, I've, I've never done that, man. And again, I was just like, bro, you sure <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you sure know a lot out here. You sure know a lot out here. Uh, it, was, it was wild. I was like, no, nah, I've never, I've never done that subscribing. I've subscribed on Twitch. Yeah, for sure. He wants to relate. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You don't, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's all right. I just thought it was so funny. Um, but going back here to drawing some toes and yes, guys, I know for, for those of you coming in here, I swear we don't draw feet every day. All right. This is like the one time, like once a year, once a year, I'll, I'll teach you guys how to draw, how to draw feet. Okay. I know, I know that this is not the common thing out here on Twitch. Sometimes it, it, it brings out people out here. Um, if you, if you like feet, by the way, I'm not judging you. All right. I'm not saying that, um, feet are bad or anything. I'm just saying, I don't normally draw feet. Uh, just a heads up. If you're like, man, what did I walk into? What kind of art stream is this? This guy only draws feet every day. I'm not a feet guy. I'm not, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not a, Hey, 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 I'm not a feet guy. I don't want you guys to come in here for the first time and be like, yo, finally, I found, finally, I found a streamer that draws feet. I can't wait to see them live every single time. You're going to be disappointed. This is like one of the only few times I'll be drawn feet. There's nothing wrong. No, 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 no. Look, look, chat. There's nothing wrong with drawn feet. If you like to draw feet, you like to draw feet. I'm just saying I'm not a feet streamer. Don't get confused. <laughs> and you're like, this is not a feet stream. Let me leave. See ya. No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm not a feed streamer. So don't get confused. If you come back here uh, on Thursday or something, you're like, Hmm, why, what happened, man? I thought, I thought, uh, I thought I was going to get more of the, uh, more of the grippers out here. Sorry. Okay. 
just want to, <sighs> I swear, I'm always getting set up. Chat, chat's always setting me up. All right, anyways, as I was saying, um, we're going to be drawing out here the toes, and I'll show you guys kind of how I'm drawing out some of these uh, these structures and stuff, because, again, I think it's kind of interesting to be able to lay out the, some of the anatomy and stuff of the toes and of the feet and all of that stuff. But basically, the way that I like to do it is I like to kind of go in here. We're going to kind of find some of these general arches here um, for the ankle and all of that stuff, right? Um, finding here some of the curvature of the feet as well, something like this. And then from there, we're going to kind of find the rhythms there of the toes kind of going across here like this, and then utilizing these kind of rhythms to kind of help us establish some of the more detailed shapes. But I like to kind of go in first and, and break down some of the general, um, some of the general anatomy. And then from there, start building it up just a tad bit more right so we have their stuff like the transverse arch um, which we didn't really talk about but basically it's the arch that goes across the feet um, horizontally we also have here the arch of the um, the arch here of uh, the inner foot there and then here we're gonna have all the toes and all that stuff all right so let's go ahead let's go ahead now and actually start working on the details here of the toes uh, and then from there, we'll work on maybe this example here, and then we will we will uh, work on some shoes. Okay. Yeah, go grab some virtual tea. Thank you for the follows, Kitty, and also Pias, Creative Corner. You know, the more you deny something, the more suspicious you are. I don't think that's how it works. No, that's not true. You can you can you can deny you can deny things, and and it has no implication on whether or not you're guilty. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like why like you go to court and you're like i'm 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 not guilty your honor and then the judge is like uh-huh the more you say you're not guilty the the less i believe you that's not how it works i swear guys i swear we do a lot of other things out here okay we do a lot of very various different things on my streams um, but okay, I'm um, going back here. So for the, for the toes and stuff, you can imagine, uh, the structure, right? We're going to go one, one, two, like so. And then here on the bottom side of the feet, you don't really got to do this, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys anyways. Um, but you can also kind of add in here the overlap there of the toes as well too, right? So sometimes adding in simple lines to just showcase overlap can actually go a really, really long way. Um, in terms of uh, drawing out kind of the structures for toes and and all of that stuff or just in general when it comes to foreshortening being able to draw these things out I think can actually go a long way um, You think it depends on how they say it true. That's that's also true. It's it's all about um, The way that you say things can definitely make you look more or less sus. I I'm saying it as truthfully as I can okay that's that's all I'm going to say now um, really quick for those of you guys who are coming in here for the first time um, join the discord channel because on the discord channel um, you'll be able to grab one today's worksheet so for those of you that want to follow along on the exercise here are the the shoe references that we're going to be covering um, Two, you can grab um, what we covered on the last day of the boot camp which was how to draw different types of legs muscular legs, uh, fat legs, skinny legs, so forth. And then also for those of you who want kind of more of the nitty gritty, some of the details, this right here is a cheat sheet that I made back in 2022, covering some of the skeletal and muscular anatomy of drawing feet. So highly recommend this for those of you who really want to get into the details um, of feet, download this, use it, whatever, stare at it, Put it on your wall i don't know okay but it's free to grab but only available when i'm live on twitch okay so if somebody could uh somebody in the chat just type in exclamation mark discord for the people out here um oh thank you you guys are already doing that appreciate that um yeah thank you for the follows too by the way valerius maximus uh nox steel uh ajz H J Z. For real? Hey, would you guys take $500,000 or would you have a dinner with Jay-Z? Partic spe spe uh, specifically a Jay-Z. Ooh, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. I don't know. I don't know what I would choose. <laughs> take the, you, take, you take 5K? You wouldn't even take the 500. i will take 5K. 
Give me the money. Damn. I'm sorry, Jay-Z. Hey, Jay-Z, I swear. We actually, my community, they're all lying. Okay. Everyone loves Jay-Z here. Jay-Z, welcome into the Kasem crew. Um, I swear we're all big fans of you out here. Okay. <laughs> You're like, nah, take give me the money. Give me the money. J J who? <laughs> Oh man, give me the money. <laughs> but what about what about AJZ? Damn. They've already left. They followed the stream for like a quick second and they're like, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting bullied out here. What kind of stream is this? Damn, we lost our chance with Jay-Z, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I would have also taken the money, but you know, sometimes you gotta be nice, right? Like if if I had actually met Jay Z in person, I would have said Jay Z. I would I would love to have dinner with you, but then I still would have taken the money on the side. I would have been like Judas at the table. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z, I love you, Jay Z. And then on the side little pocket there, I got like five k in my hand. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways, let's let's wrap up here on this uh, on this drawing. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Let me go ahead and kind of uh, move these, move these, uh, move this toe a little bit more like this. Uh, and then we're going to give it one more room here, but you can kind of notice here the rhythm that I'm kind of, I'm following here. All right. I'm following here the rhythms of the feet that we talked about earlier, right? Kind of the, the one, two, three pattern here. So one, two, three, that's it. Just remember that for toes and you're pretty much good to go. Now, something I will mention here is that, uh, toes can sometimes curl in. Um, so make sure you're following some of the gesture here of, of the toes, but otherwise I would say this is going to be kind of the rhythm there, um, for drawing out these, uh, these little, little, little toesies right here. Okay. So follow these rhythms here. And then the pinky toe, I usually save for last because that pinky toe, again, is going to be a little bit different of a shape. Usually it's going to be a little bit rounder, um, than the other, uh, than the other toes there because it, it's, uh, it curls back a little bit. And also it kind of just, I don't know, it kind of just does its own thing sometimes, but there you go. Um, that is going to be the overall structure there of drawn feet. Nice and easy, right? Also, thank you for the shout out to Rat Lord. Welcome back in, Rat Lord. Uh, and thank you for all the follows, um, Emery. A date with Jay Z might earn you more, though. You're right. You're right. Not me specifically, but yes. You don't know if you can join in today. Guys, it's okay if you, <laughs> again, we're after we do the feet, we're going to be doing shoes. I know some of you are like, Kasem, hey, I, can't, I can't watch the stream, man. Feet but it's important. I think it's important to know the whole body and be able to draw the whole body. But we, we will be, um, for those of you who maybe have a hard time looking at feet, which I get there, there are some people who, who have difficulty. Maybe, you, maybe you see feet and you're like, case okay, I can't resist. I can't resist out here. I must, I can't look away. I can't focus case M. If, if you're like that, don't worry. We're going to be covering these up. All right. And we're going to be putting some shoes, uh, some shoes on them. Okay. I'm I'm specifically talking to you, Meru. <laughs> I'm kidding, joking, joking, joking. All right. Um let's go. I think um let's go do I'm gonna, okay, now that we've done one of the feet here, all right? Let's go in and let's start um let's start knocking out now the the other uh foot here and then I think we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go with um with working on what's it called working on the the shoes and stuff okay but again the main thing i wanted to mention to you guys and i'll do it on a new layer all right is going to be one pay attention again to i actually need to fix this but pay attention to the the positioning here of the ankles i think that's a big one a big indicator there of um of a good understanding of how the anatomy of the feet works is pay attention to how the ankles are going to be a little bit higher up here um, and a little bit lower, right? A little bit lower on, um, the, on the outer side right here. So inner side is higher. Um, and, and, uh, outer side is lower. Okay. So the way that we're going to pay attention to this is we're going to, I'm going to show you guys kind of the rhythms here, right? So we have one rhythm going this way like that. Uh, and then you have here the rhythm of the, of the arch kind of going, uh, following across the there as again. So kind of going in right here like this. 
So these nice little rhythms can actually help you again find an established gesture uh, when it comes to drawing feet. Let me also draw um, like that. Okay. Uh, would you say hands or feet are harder to draw? Hands. Um, I think so. And the reason why is because there's actually a, there's a lot less flexibility in the toes um, than there are in the hands. And also, unlike hands, the majority of the toes are actually going to kind of uh, group together. So if you bend, if you bend like one of these toes, right, you're going to they're all kind of going to curl the same way. Whereas with hands, you can stretch them out this way. You can you can kind of bend them individually like so. And I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really have that much dexterity in my toes. I can't really bend my toes in all crazy weird ways so personally i think it's a lot easier once you understand the basic structure of the toes um i think it, it becomes it kind of like opens the door for being able to just draw feet in general um but uh yeah that's a that's a good question i i think um i think it all depends too it depends on your preferences there are people who maybe have a hard time drawing um drawing uh toes because maybe they just can't look at toes you know hard to draw something that you that you uh that you can't look at right okay um but let's go in and draw this other foot here and then i think we'll be good to move on so for this um for this foot here i think what we're going to do is one i'm going to draw out the I'm going to draw out the kind of the, the, the leg there, right? So we're going to go in here, draw that all out. And then from there, let's kind of uh, go in now and establish again some of the basic shapes here that we've got. I always like to go with the basic shapes first because I feel like um, if you can do again, if you can do the basic shapes, you're basically uh, basically on your way to drawing about I would say 90% of the, the overall structure, right? So you can imagine here for this one, we have kind of the toes going here. Um, we're going to be using this structure now. So using the one that I have this one right here um, to kind of simplify it out a little bit more because this is, this is a little bit more complex, right? So we have here like that portion of the heel that's going to kind of curve out. Um, here, we're going to have kind of the heel like right, like that. And then we're going to wrap this one here and then we'll have here kind of the components now um the components there of the toes which i will just kind of group up like so right so we're kind of visualizing these things as simplified 3d forms but also still kind of giving it some gesture and a little bit more flexibility than um than we'd like all right so we're going to go in here boom 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 let's kind of do a little bit of that all right so now that we've done all that basic structure and stuff, let me go in and on a new layer, let's start actually adding in a little bit more detail. Um, Kasem should draw with his feet when teaching how to draw feet. I, I think I'm, I think I'm going to pass. That's a <laughs> great suggestion. Great suggestion. I think that'll, uh, that could definitely be a sub goal, but today I think I'm going to pass. Thank you for the follows too, Zago. And also, uh, net elephant uh, and sheep sheep Uji. and also um, everyone else coming here so many follows today Gus 12 um, uh, yeah welcome in guys I do have a YouTube channel that's right so if you guys are interested in my YouTube channel I've been uploading tutorial videos three times a week over there on YouTube it's actually been insane how much uh, reception I've been getting over there on YouTube um, I, it, it's I was not expecting it I was thinking like, yeah, you know, I'm going to upload here and there, but a lot of you guys have been watching the videos, leaving very kind comments, and it means a lot to me. So if you guys are, if you guys haven't checked out my YouTube channel yet, make sure to, uh, make sure to leave a follow over there, uh, join in and yeah. Um, I, I will, I will give you guys a heads up though, that I do, um, my videos are long, so I do longer tutorial videos on YouTube. And the main reason why is because I feel like there's already so many videos on YouTube that are like, oh, uh, three easy tips for, for doing this or, or uh, avoid these five mistake type of videos. And I think there's so many of those. And personally, I feel like what artists can really use uh, to help them grow faster is to actually just, you know, sit down, watch the long videos 
watch the actual class tutorials and from there hopefully you know apply those things yourself not to say that those uh you know three mistake videos are bad i think they're actually great right i think they're great videos um for getting a general idea but if you want to level up and actually put the work in i think you're going to want to do something longer but again um i think each of their own right there are some people who who really only enjoy the shorter videos so but I just wanted to give a heads up that my channel is a little longer. Uh, most of the videos are pretty long. Um, and also Angie, hey, welcome back in Angie and everyone else coming in here today. Glad to have you guys uh, joining in with uh, the Kasem crew. Now, there's a lot of different ways here that we could draw. Um, that we can draw this foot. I think one of the ways that I want to show you guys is just kind of by utilizing some of the anatomy that we've already talked about, right? Um, we've talked about the gesture and all of that stuff. Oh, and for those of you guys who, um, who are trying to figure out where to start on my YouTube channel, I actually have a playlist called the character design bootcamp. They are numbered by days. So start off with day number one, we go over how to draw the head from basic to advanced. Then we work on how to draw, um, the torso. We work on drawing facial features. So we work our way across the whole body and this is actually day 18. So you could imagine in 18 days, we've gone from drawing the head into detail all the way down to now drawing the feet. So. Um, that's kind of the, the gist of my boot camp so far. I'll, I'll go scroll through some of the stuff that we've seen. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you could imagine we cover all of these and these are all available on my YouTube channel, um, out here, but yeah, the shorter videos are entertainment. Yeah. Right. So I would say that's definitely true. Um, I think the shorter videos are more kind of like, you know, a quick little fun, entertaining thing. Um, not to say that longer videos can't be entertaining, <laughs> But I do feel like, I don't know, imagine if school was only comprised of five minute videos. I feel like you would only get a surface level understanding. Um, but I do think those short videos are also really, really good for giving you a head, like giving you a, a rough idea of maybe what to look into, right? Because maybe you're kind of like, okay, well, I didn't even know where to start. So at least this, um, this video is going to give me an idea of like, okay, maybe I'll start working on this or studying that. So that's kind of what I'll say. Um, but, um, the best part also about my, about my channel, for those of you guys who are interested in my YouTube channel is that everything is free. Um, it's free to watch. I'm, I try to make my, uh, my content free because I know what it feels like to not be able to afford going to art school or having to drop out of art school, which is what I did or not being able to uh, be, uh, pay for books or pay for online classes and stuff like that. Um, and it sucks, right? So, I'm a, I always try to make it as free as possible. And for those of you who want my cheat sheets and worksheets and stuff, all that I ask is you guys come out live on my Twitch streams and you will always get access to um, the worksheets that I upload for at least as long as uh, I'm live on stream. Lifetime saving sounds like having a bank account for summer days. I, I, I still don't know why they do daylight saving still. Like, I understood why in the past it kind of made sense and all that stuff, but like, I don't know. I think daylight savings should just be gone. Let this be the last time we change the clocks. I like this time, by the way. I think this is a great time. Um, there's probably a lot more people who I didn't get to meet from like the, the Asian countries and stuff. So shout out to my viewers in the Philippines. I don't know if we got any Filipino viewers here, but um, if we don't, well, if we do, welcome in. But yeah, so here, what we're going to do, by the way, is we're going to group this one back in here. Boom. We're going to group these toes back in. And again, just kind of keeping the structure. And remember here that when it comes to drawing feet at this angle, what we're mostly going to be seeing actually are going to be those fat pads, right? So those fat pads really are going to play a huge role. Um, and, and given the structure here of the foot, it's, it's probably the biggest uh, component there that I really feel like changes that foot there. Um, it's 1232 AEC see before if, if it was at this time before it would be like 132. So at least now it's like slightly more reasonable for my, um, for my SEA viewers. You know, you guys are not like having to pull up, pull an all nighter just to watch my stream. Did I just call your feet fat? I call it them flat. 
how's it going Shimbo? um but yes feet do feet do have fat pads guys um and i would say they're probably the biggest um shapes uh the biggest what's it called indicator of shape when it comes to drawing and looking at the bottom portion there um of feet it's 1233 in florida what the really oh yeah that makes sense um guys uh really quick um i do run ads on my stream every hour one's running right about now so if you do get an ad thank you again for sticking around for the ad break uh they help keep my streams monetarily viable and allow me to do what i'm doing out here on twitch um but yeah if you don't want to see any ads consider subscribing or using a prime sub but either way thank you for your support and i hope to see you guys after the ad break um also can somebody give a shout out to jimbo real quick uh, if one of my mods could give a quick shout out to jimbo um ao jimbo in particular not just a jimbo um that'd be great uh but yeah welcome back in jimbo how's it going nice and early for you actually no it's not it's not it's 9 45. um Oh, your ads are side panel ads? Nice. Super cool. Thanks for the shout out. Mods OP, man. Okay, um, but I think for this one, we've kind of got here the rough idea for the toes. Again, I think toes in general, or not toes, uh, feet in general can be very tricky, especially when you're drawing them from like these kind of angles and stuff. So just kind of, you know, keep it nice and simple is what I always say. Um, you don't have to try to do too much if you don't want to. Uh, but the main things I'm, I'm always looking for here are going to be kind of the components there of those fat pads, bringing them in, um, and then maybe, you know, adding in some kind of like segmentation right here. Like so. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of it here for the feet. You can kind of add maybe some wrinkles as well too. So you kind of want to like, if you want to add some depth to it, I think this is a hard pose in general, like drawing this particular pose, I think is just in general looks funky. And so sometimes if you want to actually change how to draw the structure of something, um, or if you want to draw something out, you can obviously change a little bit of the structure to make it look, um, a little bit more visually appealing and more visually readable. So you don't always have to copy the reference, um, is what I always say. Um, but yeah, I would say that is going to be that structure. And actually for this one, I'm going to highlight the, the fat pads for this one too, because I think it'll be clearer to see in this angle. Um, now that we're actually applying some of the, the form on it, right. And we're not just looking at a top down. So again, right here, Notice these are going to be some major fat pad groupings here. Uh, and then right here as well, right? That arch there. And then we have, uh, last but not least, the heel here, which is going to be also uh, squashing against there. Okay. Alrighty, we've uh, we've moved on from the little little toes right here, the ground pounders. Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully, guys. Hopefully that was um, helpful to see. Um, again, I'm trying to. I I want to I want to give guys as much info as possible, but I also don't want to overwhelm you guys too with info because I think at the end of the day, uh, what's really most important is the stuff that we have already covered earlier, which is going to be the more. Um, the more generic components of of the feet, which is going to be this. If you can understand this component and maybe some of the fat pad stuff, I think that's going to take you probably a pretty long way um, when it comes to drawing feet overall. Um, but an example of what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and let me group this one out and actually duplicate it and flatten it because I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to simplify this one out just a tad bit to, to show you guys what the simplified structure uh, would look like, right? So again, you can kind of just group out the feet here like so. I like to group all um, all three of these together and then keep the pinky toe separate. Um, you don't have to do it like that, but I don't know. I think I think seeing it as seeing the pinky as its own thing can sometimes be really helpful uh, for breaking down that shape, right? And then here we're going to have... Um, this portion here of the heel, which will be its own kind of shape as well. So we have that there, right? And then from there, we're going to have the component here of the arch, which is going to be kind of that tarsals uh, section right here. Uh, and then here we'll have the heel section uh, like so. So 
breaking these things up into kind of chunks visualizing it that way can actually be really really helpful uh when it comes to actually drawing uh drawing out these more complex forms and stuff there you go nice and easy oh thank you for the follows um lil hold on, i'm gonna read your name lilika hopefully i'm saying your name right that's a very challenging name there's a lot of like i's and l's there more i's and l's than i'm <laughs> than i'm used to welcome in welcome in and uh welcome in everybody who's coming in here today um oops um i do hope that today's stream uh for the most part has been helpful to um to 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 watch and stuff right so let me let me also um color out here the this section now Okay, cool. And hey, thank you for the follow, Kumo. All right, so we've got here some foot drawings. Boom, boom, boom. Um, let's go now do this one. And I think the reason why I wanted to do this reference was also because I think this one right here also um, captures how some of the footwear actually works on drawing um, on drawing uh, feet. So here we have, uh, we're going to put away these references now. Okay, so fear not. And then I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna start bringing out now some of the, um, some of the shoe references that we're gonna be tackling today. So I got here kind of like a more medieval style, you know, not like a modern style of shoe design. Then we have kind of your classic, uh, your classic sneakers that we're gonna be drawn here. I think these are Pumas. No, these are Vans. My bad. Sorry, Vans. And then um, if we have time today, I don't know if we will. Uh, well, I'll do my best. Um, we'll have here some dress shoes as well. All right. So there's gonna be the different varieties of shoes that we're gonna be talking about and drawing, um, based off of just different structures and stuff. Okay, let's go in here and let's let's knock out this uh, this drawing here. What about boots? So I'm gonna be encompassing it here because I think the structure of the boots are gonna be roughly about the same. Um, so whereas these, it's mostly in relation to how the stitching and the fabric are. So that's why I chose this one. This is kind of like a compromise of uh, drawing boots in general. It'll follow more of like a boxy structural taper. But again, once you see some of these examples, you'll see that drawing other things like sh different types of shoes are not going to vary too much, if that, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's draw this one right here. Now, again, if you guys do want to grab these uh, references and, and follow along with me, these are available um, on my Discord channel. So feel free to grab them, draw along, struggle, cry, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're going to follow here the rhythms, um, paying attention again to how the, um, how the outer ankle here, again, or sorry, the inner ankle is higher than the lower ankle, right? So again, using some of these key components, uh, we're going to kind of place here a bit of gesture for the foot, a little bit of an arch right here, a curved inside. And then from there, I'm going to bring the foot back, go this way. I'm going to section off the toes there like this. Remember, big toe is its own thing. Three sections here for these toes, and then small toe goes here. That's it. Look how quickly we drew that. We, we drew this, uh, this toe, right? Uh, now we're going to, we're going to go in, add some of the curvature there of, uh, the, I don't know what this is called, a uh, shoe, shoe thing that she's got. <laughs> We're going to be just putting that on here. Um, and pay attention to how there's a gap here. So part of the reason why I chose this reference was because I wanted to show you guys how there's a nice um, gap actually between the big toe. And this is something you'll see commonly too in a lot of, uh, uh, if you want to draw like feet and stuff, you'll see how the big toe can actually kind of separate itself from the other toes there. And that can also really help give some interesting uh, gestural structure for, you know, your drawings. If you're looking to spice things up, you're tired of seeing uh, the structures, how they are. Um, and thank you for the follow. It's KC. Hey, welcome in. 
Uh, which, which, by the way, reminds me, let me give a quick little intro of myself. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome into the KSM crew. My name is KSM. I am a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch, and I teach everything from anatomy, gesture, perspective, to all things related to character design. And I also work full-time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Uh, right now, I'm prepping to work as a character designer on shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys are interested in some free art education or you're looking just to hang out with my dog who is KO'd all the way over there, uh, make sure to leave a follow on Twitch and also uh, like and subscribe if you're watching from YouTube. Uh, here's my YouTube channel. And thank you for the follow to you. Bucket, bucket planks. Uh, and also saxes. Welcome in. Um, do you also cover value and shading? Mm, not on, I don't think we're going to be doing that on this boot camp, to be honest. Um, but we do cover, we do cover how to do some colors and stuff. Let me show you guys some stuff we did. Yes. Not yesterday. Um, a few days ago, um, I showed you guys, uh, my, I drew Luffy from one piece in my style, um, and a few other characters. And, uh, this is one that we will forget, uh, baby Sinclair. Let's put that one away. Uh, but yeah, so we do cover how to do shading and, um, general kind of concepts for, for, uh, colors, but not necessarily the main focus. Um, and that's mostly because in animation, for those of you guys who are curious, um, in the animation industry, we don't usually do a lot of rendered colors and stuff like that. It's mostly going to be cell shaded flat color techniques. Um, and so what's more important for animation, a uh, 2d animation in particular is less about, um, less about 3d form when it comes to rendering and more about shape design when it comes to adding in shadows. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, bucket, bucket planks. My hair grew back. I know so fast. It's crazy. Thank you for the follow too, uh, Kaiser Kaiser Boog. All right, but um, yeah. So also, really quick, guys. Um, later today we are going to be doing an art roast, art critique session. So if you guys want me to critique or roast your art, go to the Discord channel. All right, go to the Discord channel and uh, post your art on there under the art critique section. But when you do post it, make sure to please put, uh, tell me what you want, like what you're struggling with. Cause if you just post it and you're like, Hey, make this look better. That's not really going to help me. Right. So, so tell me like, Hey, I'm struggling with the arms or something looks off with the head. I don't really know what's going on here with, you know, like something like that. Give me a little something to work along with here. Uh, what was that thing? Which one you're talking about baby Sinclair. I don't know. Hey, nothing. <laughs> Maybe who now? Um, but yeah, so when it comes to drawing out here, these components, right? So I'm going to kind of follow those step rhythms that we talked about. One, two, uh, three, right? So again, one, two, three, uh, kind of following that stair, that staircase strategy that we talked about earlier. Um, and then we're going to be doing that across the board here. One, two, three, one, one, two, three. There you go. And that is kind of how I follow the rhythm of drawing the toes. Keep it nice and simple. Um, I think it's a lot easier to draw toes, to be honest, than it is to draw fingers because, again, there's a lot there's a lot less flexibility when it comes to drawing toes. And so you can actually, um, I would say, simplify the toes a lot quicker than than I think you would with uh, drawing out drawing out uh, fingers and stuff on the hand, right? Okay, uh, and then here we're gonna just over we're gonna overlap here the the cloth ac um, across from this angle here, and then wrap it back down into this portion here. So whenever you're drawing fabric and stuff on top of uh, whenever you're drawing clothing on top of the form of the human body, make sure you're you're paying attention to the three dimensionality as well of um, of whatever it is you're drawing because these forms are gonna wrap around like imagine the cylinder here, right? And then they're going to kind of arch along here like so. So make sure to pay attention to those things because sometimes if you don't do them right, it'll actually flatten your image out a little bit more. No, no, no. I'm not a, I'm not a master of drawn feet. I don't, I don't want to be known as uh, the master of drawn feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay with just being the art streamer out here that covers anatomy and part of the anatomy is learning how to draw feet. I don't got to be the master of drawn feet guys. Please don't, 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 don't go to other people's channel and be like, Hey, 
you know what? There's a there's a streamer out here on Twitch. If you guys like feet, he draws feet every day. That's not true. I don't draw feet every day. I don't even do it every stream. I draw it maybe like once a year for you guys. Okay. And there's nothing wrong, by the way. There's nothing wrong with drawing feet. I just don't want to be branded as the feet streamer. Okay. That's not that's not what I want to be known as. What a niche to corner. <laughs> this man is revolutionary. He's really tapping into this niche on Twitch. Look at him. The feet niche. Who would have thought there'd be a streamer for me? Please, please, guys. Um, you know you like it. <laughs> no, no. I like teaching. I like teaching for sure. Um, but in all seriousness, I do think learning how to draw feet is actually really important, especially for those of you who want to learn how to draw characters in perspective. We actually, um, by the way, I actually released a video recently, um, a new YouTube video um, just yesterday um, covering how to draw characters in perspective. For those of you who have ever struggled with that, uh, actually put an F in the chat. Let's see how many of you guys in the chat have ever struggled drawing a character in perspective. Maybe you tried putting them in a scene and for some reason they just look kind of funky. They looked like they weren't floating or they weren't really touching the ground properly the way that you wanted them to, right? Put a knife in the chat because one, the, my most recent video on YouTube actually goes over, um, goes over how to draw characters in perspective. But today's stream is also helpful because again, if you can draw these simplified structures in perspective, you can start drawing your characters in perspective. The most important thing when it comes to drawing characters in perspective is being able to make sure that they are properly touching the ground plane. And what's going to be usually the first thing that touches the ground plane? The feet. See, it all comes back together. So it's the feet. So learning how to draw feet, um, and it doesn't have to be feet, learning how to draw the shoes, how whatever, whatever works for you is going to help you out, I think, in the long run. But okay, so there you go. We got here, uh, we got here one of the feet. Let me go ahead and kind of just uh, do a quick uh, colorway for this one. And then we'll move on to the next, uh, the other foot there. And then I think we'll have to speed up a little bit. Um, I only have about 30-ish minutes to do these shoes before we do the art roast. And I also have to do an unboxing today because a lot of things happened on my subathon stream uh, Saturday that I just didn't get to. So stuff, we're going to do the, we're going to do a raffle as well, a raffle spin. And let me think if there's anything else we're going to do. Raffle spin, unboxing of a gift that somebody sent me, and then we're going to do the art roast. Uh, even though I use my own feet as reference, turns out my feet are messed up. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it is, right? You're like, huh, why is it my drawings always look funky? I keep using myself as a reference. And then you find out it's me. I'm the problem. Oof. That's okay, though. Um, I was going to help me at drawing knots. Mm. How long did it take you to get decent at hands and feet? Mm, I don't know. That's a good question. I never really thought about like timing it in the sense of like, I don't know at what point I was like, oh yeah, I got it. I think I'm, I think there's always something more to learn. Right. So like the more you draw the, uh, the better you are each time. So I think I keep improving drawing feet and stuff and, and hands and every time I draw them. So I do recommend it. I do think it's really helpful to be able to uh, break down these simple structures and stuff. But yeah, um, before I continue though, let me just double check with everybody here. Are you guys, um, are you guys okay? You guys doing all right? Has it been helpful to see um, how I'm tackling drawing these things out? Despite all the memes and stuff we've covered today, please let me know in the chat if this has been, has been good, has been helpful. Um, I don't see a lot of streamers and in general, a lot of content creators drawing feet. I think it's something that a lot of people shy away from. Um, and so I honestly, even I thought I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a stream on drawing feet because I already know I'm going to get roasted by chat and people are going to be like, yo, this is weird. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? There's got to be some people out there that exist that are struggling with drawn feet. And so I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. All right. I'm taking all the pain. I'm taking all the roasts out here today because I know that there are some of you out here that could, that are that that are that are finding this helpful. It's for you. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
people on Twitch are probably like, yo, yo, what is this? What is this man doing out here? <laughs> but we got to do it. We got to do it. No one else is doing it. I, I, I rarely see people uh, on, on YouTube and on Twitch talking about how to draw these things. All right, guys, for you. Thanks for the sacrifice. You're welcome, Bob. I'm doing my best. I'm almost there. I'm almost at my limit. <laughs> uh, thank you for the info. Uh, thank you for the follows too. Darkish, uh, Mark, Umil, and everyone else out here. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I'm a soldier today, man. We gotta. I'm braving the waters of Twitch on social media. I'm risking my reputation out here. People are going to potentially know me only as the foot streamer. There, there are going to be some people who follow me today. This will be the first time they see me and they're going to think, wow, this guy only draws feet on his streams. And you know what? Okay. Because they're not, they might not come back, <laughs> but I swear, I swear I do other things. All right, so here's a quick little gesture, um, but I'm using, again, the same strategy that we had here, how I cover talking about breaking up the forms. This is that same strategy that I'm doing right now. Uh, also, Dominator Dopey and Ka Twitch, welcome into the KSM crew. For those of you who are following me, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, I, I do want to know how you guys came across my stream. What brought you here? You know, did you see my title? Did you see me on the front page? Did you see me on, uh, on uh, what was it called? You saw me on YouTube. You saw me on Recommended. What brought you guys here? I'd be very surprised if Twitch has me on the front page today. I don't know if they'd want this on the front page. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yo, what's this? Uh, but Recommended, maybe. Maybe I can see this on Recommended. Um, did you, did, did ever anyone come from Instagram? I don't know. That's a good question. Sometimes I know some people... Uh, might be coming in here from Instagram. You actually found me on the front page? No joke. Really? <laughs> Top first on the feet fetish category? No, I'm not. Stop, guys. Um, I don't usually like looking at feet, so I tend to stray away from them, but this definitely helps, so thank you. Thanks. I know, guys. I know. This is why I tried to make... Um, this is why I tried to make today's stream as, like, educational as possible and not, like, try to be weird about it because... I don't know. I, I, I get it. There are some people who just can't look at feet. Um, to me, it's just another part of the human body. Um, so I don't, I don't think about it too, too much as like, oh man, this is weird. But I get that there are some people who, you know, are like, oh man, I just can't look at it. That's just, you know, my, it's just a thing. Uh, but yeah, um, anyways, going back here though, I'm showing you guys right now how I took some of the general form and structure that we had earlier, and I'm using that to break up some of the components and some of the form, right? Um, I saw the thumbnail of a drawing this, this steampunk lady in a big skirt and I was like, oh, that's cool. Not my stream, right? Like you're talking about a different stream. Um, it's just a feat. The others make it strange. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's just feet. You know, it's just a feat though. I will say, yeah, there are some crusty feet. Okay. Look, some people out here, y'all do have crusty feet. That is, that is truth. We cannot deny that. Okay. Some of y'all got the crusty crab out there. All right. But otherwise, if we're talking about drawing regular feet, this is it. Oh, you found my stream. That's what you saw. A steampunk lady in a skirt. I don't remember doing that, but I, I'm sure I did. I've, I've done a lot out here. Okay. I've, uh, I've been on the platform for about for three years now. So I'm sure I've drawn something like that at some point. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the lady with the umbrella with the big skirt. I remember drawing her. I actually really enjoyed that drawing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that really when you found me? Damn, that's crazy. The umbrella girl, the the, the parasol girl. Yes. Um, but all right. So as you guys can see, um, the way that I drew this one out, this foot, really just started off by breaking down those again those simple shapes and then here what i'm doing is i'm before i jump into all the details of uh this footwear i like to always focus on the general shapes i'm seeing first 
And what I actually really liked about this reference was that this reference really does a good job of wrapping across the foot and actually highlights some of the main components I was talking to you guys about earlier, right? So I'm talking about here the heel of the foot, which is, I think, a really important part. The ankle section of the foot as well, which is, again, another important for, uh, part there. And then um, the, the base of the foot here, which has the fat pads that we had earlier. And then last but not least, also talking about the toes of the feet as well. So I think this is actually a really good reference. If there's any if there's any drawing that you want to do today or that you that you feel like would be helpful, I would actually say to do this one. Uh, this one is a good example of covering all the all the general shapes and fundamentals we talked about today. Um, and it also adds a little bit of gesture, too, which I think is great. Adding gesture to your forms um, can can really, really sell it um, a lot better. So there's a lot of good gesture going in here with this foot. Um, and that happens like right here, right? The curvature, the heel as it arches in. And then here you have the flow there of the toe as it goes in. And then you have here, you know, the, the stability there, the boxiness of this portion of the toe, which also adds some, adds a little bit of structure. Um, yeah. Also thank you for the follow. Rem re remember decay. Welcome in. But yeah, glad I'm um, glad that a lot of you guys are here today. Um, I don't know how many people are here. It's okay. You don't got to tell me. Um, but for those of you who are here um, and enjoying the content, always appreciate it. And um, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be back on Twitch after like a little mini break because I'm not going to lie. It's funny because after, okay, look, uh, this is just a TLDR for those of you, a little, a little uh, insider info here. But after my 24 hour stream, I actually couldn't sleep because I was just... I was so not, not, not excited, but like maybe shocked was the word. Like I was still really trying to process what the heck happened in that 24 hour stream. Like it was not at all what I planned, you know, like I had an idea in my mind about how, how the stream was going to go and stuff, but yo, that just, I don't know, like everything that I had in my expectation, I was still I was still trying to process what was going on and, and in all of you guys too, all the support, like in my mind, I didn't think we were going to hit that last sub goal. And I was completely fine with that. Like, I, I know I was saying it on that stream that day. I was saying like, yeah, it's completely okay if we, uh, if we don't hit it. Cause I, I genuinely didn't want to go bald. Like, I know I kept saying it, but I didn't think we were actually going to hit it. So I was like, okay, I'll put this on here. It's okay. And then you guys just, you just kept going crazy, you kept going crazy. And then Twitch was promoting me on the platform on the front page. And then it was just, it was just all over the place. And then, yeah, I don't know. And then, um, yeah. And then, but then the, the later that day I did crash. Like I, I just, I've been sleeping like a baby the past couple of days, but I'm a lot, I'm, I'm okay now. Um, did I really go bald? Actually, <laughs> my brain I had no brain cells I think after the 22nd hour mark like the last two three hours of my stream no joke I had no more brain cells left I couldn't process what was going on I was just trying to I was just trying to make it through man I was just trying to push yeah we do have an emote for it that's the emote case I'm cap <laughs> I, I I don't know when I don't know when you would ever use that emote but it exists, okay? I'm sure some of you are creative and can figure out when to use that emote. It's just there. It just exists now. It's it's in the archives of our streams forever. Uh, why doesn't the dog sleep on the bed? I Okay. One, I don't know because he, he does sleep on the bed. He just doesn't do it while I'm streaming. When I'm not streaming, he will lay on the bed. It's super weird. Um, but two, I think it's also because it is colder on the floor. So I think sometimes he likes that, um, especially on uh, today's a little bit more of a warmer day here in Los Angeles. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a great emo. Shout out to Romy for uh, for a screenshot in that one. Man, you guys are uh, like, I'll show you guys later after we finish this drawing of the feed and stuff. But I'll have to show you guys because you guys were roasting me so hard, man. The discord channel was just full of roasts and it's great. I was dying. I was, I'm, I still look at it. Um, thank you for the 200 bits and all the other bits today too. Um, yeah, it's pretty, 
<laughs> what are those emos? What are you guys doing? It took me a while too to figure out. I was like, man, what should I name this emote? I was coming up with all different kinds of names and I was like, you know what? My head hurts. I'm just going to call it Kasem Cap because I wore a bald cap. But also it kind of looks like I'm, it's the kind of face I would make when you can tell someone is lying. You know what I'm saying? Like when you just hear someone talk and you're just like, uh-huh. Yeah. You know, like, what are you talking about? That's the face I would make. Maybe not that exactly, but close enough. Hey, because remember when I asked you about Apple Pencil stuttering, it was because I was putting too much lotion. Wait, wait, hold on. Chat. Let me read this guy. Case some, case some caps in the chat. Hold up. Case, hey, hey, this is it. This is when you put case some cap in the chat. Hold on. Hey, case some. Remember when I asked you about the Apple Pencil stuttering? It was because I was putting too much lotion on my palms? Yo! <laughs> What are you talking? <laughs> nah, Truven. I'm kidding, Truven. I'm roasting you. I'm kidding, man. <laughs> I get it. No, no, that makes sense. That that actually makes sense because of the because of the way that it it like it it detects it and stuff. No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh you guys are funny. Oh man, yo, thank you for the follows, by the way. <laughs> thank you for the follow rob okay well i'm glad you solved the problem you know that's actually a good thing my hands cramp from drawing you guys are too <laughs> we're just like yeah don't don't mind us truman don't mind us we're just we're just trying to find an excuse to use case and cap okay anytime we can use case and cap i think we will <laughs> that's so funny i put too much lotion on uh i get it i get it that actually makes sense. Yeah, the lotion, the, the lotion does interfere. Hundred percent, I agree. Okay, but there you go. We've drawn out here. Um, we've drawn out uh, this foot here, and I think what I'm gonna do is I don't know if we're gonna have time, unfortunately, to to draw all of the shoes today. Um, so I'm thinking what we can do, guys, is um, I will let you guys pick one of the shoes. Okay, so. Here are the three options. I'm, I'm just going to run it back here. I'll make a poll for you guys. Vote in the um, vote in the chat, okay? So what shoes you guys want? What shoes? Question mark. Um, we've got here some schneckers, okay? Sneakers out here. We got here some uh, dress shoes. Uh, and then we also got here some, uh, some boots. They're kind of like medieval style boots kind of thing. All right, so vote in the poll. I'll let you guys choose whichever one you guys want. And... We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't think I have time to do all three of them today. I wanted to, um, but we have a few other things that I have planned for today's stream uh, that I want to make sure we also hit. So, yeah, vote in the polls. Okay. And if you're watching from YouTube, I'm sorry. You guys can't vote in the polls because you're watching this afterwards. Uh, but just know, YouTube, that I'm a very, I'm all about democracy out here. I let my chat choose. Okay. So, YouTube, if you're mad because you wanted something else, I'm sorry. Blame chat. Okay, it's chat's fault that um that that they didn't vote the one that you wanted. Can't blame the streamer. Okay. <laughs> and don't blame me. I I just make the options out uh, here. All right, let me go ahead and color this one out and I think we'll be good for whatever whichever one you guys pick. But again, I I think I think um when it comes to drawing feet, I really do think it becomes a lot easier once you understand the baseline. So if there was anything that I would tell you guys to pay attention to today, it's going to be that first uh shape breakdown that I talked about um because that's going to be the one that I think will really um set you in the right direction, right? Uh this one right here. So if I were to make this to like a 15 second TikTok video, easiest way to draw feet, this is it right here. Boom, 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 boom. You know, this is, this is the one. All the other stuff that I'm covering, this is just additional stuff to help you understand the concepts. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you guys today. I've taken, I've, I've taken all the blame today for just drawing feet in general. Okay, that's me. That's on me. This one, I'm going to let you guys take. Let's see what you guys voted for. Oh, wow, sneakers. Everyone here loves drawn shoes. Honestly, it's a good pick. I think I think the shoes, which I'm going to vote for it as well. Might as well make it a nice 30 there. Nice, good, odd number or not odd number. Uh, make it a nice 
uh, solid even number. Okay, sneakers. Okay, that's actually a good pick, and the reason why is because I think sneakers are probably the most common. Um, why is barefoot not on the list? Because we've been drawing, we've been drawing feet. <laughs> That's all we've done. We've drawn so much feed today. I didn't put it on there because I assume you guys didn't want to see more of it. Um, but okay, let me put away some drawings here. All right, so we've got here. Um, oh, what did I do? Oops, what happened there? Why did it bug? Merge this. There you go. All right, so let me go ahead and move. Um, let me move some things down here for you guys. And then I think we'll get started on drawing out the shoes. We'll talk about some of the basic structure there. And then I think we'll be good to go. Good to go when it comes to drawing out now the rest of the components. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Group. Move that down here. And I'm going to move uh, all of this down here. Yes. I'm just trying to make room for it. All right, I think we're good. I think we got enough space here for the shoes. And I'm just going to crop. I'm actually just going to cut off uh, this portion because we don't need We don't need all that. All right, shoes. Let's talk about shoes and we'll make shoes um, hopefully easy how to make how to make them nice and easy to draw. All right. Um, how much did you sleep after the 24 hour stream? Mm, so right after the 24 hour stream, I only slept for about three hours because I woke up. I got lunch. I was super hungry. And then I couldn't really sleep afterwards because I had a, um, a couple of my friends were coming over to celebrate my birthday with me. <laughs> so I didn't really sleep after that. Um, so about three hours. And then after that, I knocked out again at about nine, like 9 p.m., 10, 10 p.m. And then I slept for about like, I slept for about like 12 hours that day. Um, and then I slept for like another 12 hours yesterday. And so now I'm okay. I think I'm actually a lot better now. If anything, I feel like I'm better than ever. I feel like I'm uh, stronger than I've ever been. But okay, so um, when it comes to drawing out the shoes and stuff, again, the first step I want to I'll always recommend to people is actually focusing on first drawing out the structure of the, the foot, right? So we have this simple basic structure here because if you can do this, again, remember that the, the foot or the shoes are basically just fabric on top of, on top of the, uh, on top of the foot there, right? Or around the foot, whatever semantically there. Um, but so let's go ahead and kind of make sure we're arching all of our components here. We have here the heel of the foot. We have here the arch here, this inner portion here. Uh, then we're going to wrap this one down here like so. And then here we're going to kind of bring this one back and we're going to have that section there, uh, for the toes, right? And so we have here this nice kind of uh, structured section here already for the feet. And I would say this is going to be the, the baseline of, of kind of starting off here with drawing out feet. If you can do this, I think you're kind of already, again, a long ways away when it comes to drawing out uh, feet and, and shoes and all that stuff in general. So we're going to go in like this and kind of establish some of the basic structure that we have, right? Um, Luckily for us, we don't have to draw all the all the, the small details and stuff because we're going to be covering it anyways. Um, but the next thing I like to do is let's kind of lower the opacity here, right? Let's start thinking about a little bit of the volume. So if you took the structure that we had here and we think about a little bit of the thickness here of the shoes across the board, you could imagine first, so let's say we just outlined the, the bottom there of the shoe, right? Kind of this outline around the foot here. You could imagine here that the one, the feet are going to go, uh, the shoes are going to go down a little bit more here. So let's kind of move this foot up a little bit. Uh, I'll bring it closer here to the reference, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start imagining the volume around the shoe. So one, we're going to be seeing some volume around here, the bottom portion there, the sole. We're going to be seeing some bottom portion there of the heel. But we're also going to follow the rhythm that we've established here, right? So we got a little bit of an arch there. We've got here the shoe going this way here. And so we're seeing here how the shoe kind of fits around and goes under here. So we have this uh, section here underneath. You can imagine that. 
a bit of thickness, right? Um, but this thickness is not going to be consistent across the shoe. Um, the heel of the shoe is obviously going to be thicker, especially for sneakers. Some I've seen some sneakers give you like two inches, man. I know some of you in the, I know some of you guys in the chat buying some of those uh, some of those Jordans that give you a two extra inches out here. All right. I get it. I get it. I know what you guys are trying to do, but it depends. But generally speaking, okay, generally speaking, the shoes or uh, sneakers are going to have kind of thicker, uh, thicker heels or thicker bases compared, especially to something like uh, dress shoes, which may or may not have that. Um, but here, now that we've done this portion here, I'm going to kind of extrude that out forward a little bit more. Uh, and then uh, going back now, we're going to kind of imagine the shoe kind of covering in and then I'm going to leave a little bit of thickness there because now we have a bit of the fabric here of the shoe, but also remember that the fabric here is going to be a bit thinner. You can actually see that in the shoes right there. So thinner fabric, we're going to go kind of block that one out and I'm just focusing again on some of the simple shapes that I'm seeing. All right. So hopefully this is not too crazy, but also notice how when I'm adding in here, the overall silhouette, I'm still keeping track of the structure, um, keeping here the track, uh, the, the structure of the shoes, right? So here, the ankle is still there. We have here that tarsal section of the, of the foot there. And then here we have that metatarsal section there, which then rounds out to the, um, rounds out there to the toes. So paying attention to these rhythms in the feet can also help you give a little bit more structure in your shoes. Now, once we've done all of that, I'm going to go in now and start actually putting in the base component of the shoes. Um, shoes usually are going to be comprised of the fabric right here on the, on this side, like so. Uh, and then those sometimes, depending on the, the design of the shoes, will kind of wrap back here. So you'll have these two side components, right? Two little nice side components there are the shoes, which then kind of wraps around here. Um, and they're going to go again on the sides there of the shoes. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now from there, um, we're also going to start adding in um, the lip. I think these are called the lips. I don't remember the anatomy of the shoes all that much, but I believe this is called the lip here of the shoe. And that's just going to be basically this flappy section that's a little bit flexible, but it will um, also get uh tightened out and fit the form of the foot based off of the shoelace the tongue my bad sorry thank you guys the tongue of the uh the tongue of the shoe there thank you to my sneaker heads in the chat um yeah i don't remember the names too much of shoes because i just draw them out but the tongue of the shoe not the lip of the shoe i don't know if there's even a lip of the shoe there might there maybe there is okay but if you take a look at that we've already got a general structure right the general structure there of the um, of the shoes, and I would say already it looks pretty good. And if you take a look at this, watch, look, notice how this is kind of cool here. Notice how the stitching right here of the fabric actually also helps denote a little bit of the structure of the foot underneath. So right here, notice how they actually stitch. So first of all, we're going to add some of the the thickness there for uh, where the holes of the shoelaces are going to go in. Um, but notice how the, the rhythms there, the curvatures actually follow the form of the shoe that we had underneath, right? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys notice this, but now that you're understanding, you're like, yo, Kasem, I see it, right? Because look at this. This right here was the section that we drew for the tarsals and look at the shoe design. Look at that. They had that section there broken off for the, uh, for the heel and all that stuff right? So the heel is going to be kind of its own separate component there. There's going to be a, obviously a few little details that they're going to add in. So like right here, they're going to add a little bit more tapering uh, and we'll do the same actually as well. But you can actually see how sometimes the anatomy can inform uh, the design, the design of the shoes as well too. And this is kind of similar to clothing, right? So the clothing, the stitching here of the sleeve can also help denote um, a little bit more of the structure and form of the of the overall arm. So paying attention to these subtle details can actually really help out a lot in establishing a bit more clear uh, structure when it comes to drawing out stuff like shoes. But okay, um, then we're gonna go here, add some kind of contour. Uh, there's a there's a bit of the ankle here, so we're just gonna kind of I'm just gonna add that in here like so. Uh, the ankle is not gonna be the main component, but you know. Just add it on there. Uh, and hey, thank you for the follows, guys. I appreciate all the follows today. Uh, Neo, Nato, uh, 
fluffy goat and everybody else out here. Um, it's the tongue because you stick your foot in the mouth of the shoe. What? Actually, you, uh, Yonegi, um, Ani, and everybody else coming in, welcome in as well. All right, but next, um, after all of this, because the rest of this is basically going to be details, um, but after all of this, let's talk about the main component here, the part that maybe some of you guys uh, struggle with, which is going to be drawing out here the shoelaces. Now, I would say the easiest way to draw out shoelaces is to first figure out how many holes there are going to be in your shoes. Uh, in this case, let's just say there's roughly about one, two, three, four, like seven, seven, eight, right? Um, so we'll add those in here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight right? Something like that. Is that way? That's too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, way, way, way too many. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. Why not? Well, let's, let's throw in a nine there. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much for this case. We're just, we're just doing the demo. Um, no, 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 actually, no, I, I want it to be eight. Let's do one because I want it to be spaced out a little bit more. So that way it's not too scrunched up on each other. Okay. Four. There you go. A little bit better. All right, cool. So next, let's talk about how to alternate your shoelaces, um, kind of the, the way that they're structured out. So the way that shoelaces work, generally from what I've seen with shoes, is you'll have the front one here kind of go across. And remember that these are going to be interweaving forms. So let me actually do this on a new layer. Um, but these are going to be interweaving forms. So we're going to have here one, this section, which goes across. And um, usually what I tell people is you want to pay attention to how the laces form because the laces will actually also give you the perspective of the shoes too, right? So as we go in here and add in the, uh, the lace here, this is also going to tell us that, hey, in perspective, this shoe is going to be something like, like this, right? You kind of see what I'm saying? Um, and let me also kind of uh, shrink some of this back a little bit. I think we gave it too much heel. <laughs> so let me let me do a little bit of that. Um, so, so don't just like randomly add the laces. You definitely want to think a little bit more about how the laces can help also inform uh, some of the details. Okay. So next we're going to go in here and let's start adding in um, some zigzagging patterns. So what I like to do is keep in mind here that the lace is going to go from underneath and it's going to go on top right underneath go on top so you make sure you kind of follow that rhythm so underneath goes on top and you can do that on both sides it goes underneath but it goes on top here and it goes over it goes over the shoe like so right and that's basically the structure that's kind of the rhythm there for the shoes it goes underneath underneath uh, this section it goes over on top here and an easy way that I like to do it, if I'm being lazy, I'll show you guys a quick little hack here, is I'm going to go actually kind of hot uh, shortcut here, kind of go like this. Just kind of do this, kind of follow that rhythm, right? Um, and then um, from here, like that, we're going to kind of follow going in, uh, in, uh, so this is going to go here, in, in here, out here, in here, out here, in here, out here. And then this is going to be a little bit higher. So let me fix this one up this way like that. In here, um, out here like this. And let's just say this is where we have it left at. How many are there on this one? And we'll do one more going here. Okay. So from here, what I like to do is I like to go here. And then all I'm doing now is now that we follow that rhythm, I'm just going to go in like this. I think this one I, I doubled up here, so I need to fix that. But otherwise, um, that's kind of the technique. Easy, right? You saw that? You saw what I just did? <laughs> and we got shoes. Sheesh. But again, what's important here, it is like you can do it however you can do it however you want to do it. Um, but again, the, the the point that I'm trying to make for you guys is following the rhythm, right? Following the uh, the flow there and all of that stuff. Because if you can do that, you're basically uh, you've basically done the work there for the shoes. 
Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in and let me ask you kind of clean this one up a little bit more. So we're going to kind of like wrap around here the shoe, uh, do it on this side. Um, you know, maybe let's kind of taper out the form a little bit more. So that way the shoe kind of goes maybe like this a little bit. So I kind of just want to shrink the shoe down, right? Um, but again, that's going to be kind of the general idea there. Now, when we kind of go in here and actually add the rest of this, you can follow the same kind of structure, but you can imagine, actually, I'll actually show you guys, because I think, um, this technique also still works, even if you're going to be using it, um, even if you're going to be using it on the shoe, on the actual uh, loop and stuff of the shoe. So I'll do that one right now, um, where I will kind of go in here, add a little bit of thickness, and then we'll do maybe like this. Just so you know, I'm just I'm just adding in a quick little uh, quick little loop there. Right. So you can kind of, you can kind of go like that. Just kind of something there. Maybe we'll add this here. Kind of looks kind of messy. But again, you can kind of just go in and um, figure out kind of the structure of how you want to overlap your forms. So we can kind of go in here. I can go like this. Add a little bit of that there. Maybe we'll add this overlap here. Uh, this is going to overlap right here like so. This is going to overlap this backside like this. Uh, this is going to go this way. And then if you want to clean it up afterwards, you totally could. Right. So this is kind of, again, an easy kind of strategy that I usually go for when it comes to drawing shoes and shoelaces. Um, nothing too complicated, I think. Um, but it's mostly based off of the principle of understanding how the forms um, overlap each other to then be able to do this um, in a more kind of cohesive way. Let me add that little part there. And then we'll add another kind of part right here. Um, yeah, and there are, yeah, exactly. So that's kind of the other point too, right? So there are going to be different, you know, ways to, to lace your shoes. And so that's going to be uh, something to pay attention to. So instead of just looking at the technique, the, the hack that I showed you guys, I want you to pay attention more to the underlying forms and how to use those forms to inform, inform how the shoe uh, laces work. So sometimes this hack will work, but sometimes it won't because the, the shoe laces are tied in a different manner, right? Uh, but yeah, and then from here, all I'm gonna do is, um, what I would normally do is I'd go on a new layer and redraw everything now, but I'd also kind of like add in, you know, the details here for uh, the lip to kind of give it more form that way. Clean this one up a bit more, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more detail than maybe what we started off with. Add some of that, add some additional kind of stitching right here that goes around the form this way, like so. Uh, double up on some of the lines, so that's kind of a nice thing you can do as well, right? So double up here, add some of that fabric thickness. Uh, maybe there's some stitching going on here that you really want to denote for the shoes as well. Uh, you want to do it on both sides, why not, right? But this is it, and you can kind of do that, and it kind of cleans it up a little bit more. Um, and that's kind of how I would, how I normally draw shoes. But again, it all starts off by the, it all starts off by, by showcasing the basic, uh, the basic shapes. And then from those basic shapes, really going in and, um, slowly building up some of the form and detail on top of that. All right, so um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to clean up here. I'm going to clean the shoes up just a tad bit. Um, in the meantime, I want you guys who want to get your art roasted today on stream. If you want me to do an art critique, make sure to join the Discord channel. All right, so join the Discord channel right here, um, and go post your art under the art critiques section. Okay, but make sure that when you do post it, um, that you tell me what you are looking for when it comes to a critique. Again, this is if you guys want to join in. I'm not. I'm not going to be critiquing everybody. I'm only going to be uh, critiquing probably a handful. Um, I'll try to scroll through and see which ones kind of are common and stuff uh, out here. Okay. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean this one up just a tad bit more, 
and I think we'll be good to go uh, for this. So let me, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at this. I think this is kind of fine and let me kind of uh, erase this one real quick. I'll do this in a different color. All right, but take a look at the uh, before and after here with the shoelaces. You see that? Ta-da, shoelaces. And then um, let me go here in red and do kind of this one, one gesture, two gesture, three gesture, one gesture, two gesture, and then curve gesture, right? Very important for those curves and stuff. Uh, thank you for the follows. Conan, AGT, uh, also Col Colin. Welcome in, guys. A lot of follows today out here on the streams. Always appreciate um, new people coming in and joining, joining the KSM crew. Okay. Nice there. Clipping mask, normal. Just gonna color this one out. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Uh, and then we'll do some darker color. Oh, we'll do the same for the soul too. Not the soul, uh, the base or whatever it's called. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. See, um, see Biasm. Welcome in. I'm just going to color it and uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever style there. Whoop, whoop. All right. Nice. So we've got here our uh, very rough, but overall the the general idea there of how to draw shoes. So we've covered here all these components. Um, the same techniques are going to apply here, guys. Just a heads up. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little outro for YouTube. So if you guys are new here, welcome into the Kasem Crew. My name is Kasem, and I'm a Filipino art streamer here on Twitch. And I teach everything from gesture, anatomy, perspective, and all things related to character design. And I also work full time in the animation industry for the studio that made Castlevania. Right now, prepping to work as a designer on shows like Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and Invincible. So if you guys are interested in some free art education you like hanging out with my dog over here make sure to like and subscribe the video on youtube and if you're watching from twitch make sure to follow my stream uh but yeah hope you enjoyed today's tutorial